Why did you originally want to take over Battle of Malta? Well, Battle of Malta is an event that succeeded year after year and having an opportunity to have something like that uh, you need to think and try and make it bigger. So uh, when we decided to take this, we decided to go all the way. It was a half a million guarantee. So we said, let's make a million guarantee, work hard, make it bigger and double it. And it worked. Seems like it's worked. We are very happy. <laughs> what preparations went into this event? Um, a lot. It's crazy. Um, we started in February. Um, we sort of contacted all our contacts and, you know, um, at first people were a bit hesitant because we are new. It's a new casino. They didn't know our operation. So it was um, quite, you know, it wasn't as easy as it seemed. At the end, we did get a lot of sponsors and we already have a lot of new ones ready to join us next year. What exactly has gone into it? It was everything actually, we had to think of everything from new. We have, uh, as a casino, had other events uh, not as big. So we had to think of all the equipment that a tournament needs to have. Starting from dealer buttons to cards to all buttons to tables, the actual chairs, the actual arena, the actual setup. Also, the who's dealing, who's managing it. It's not only the dealers, behind the scenes, uh, the crew, the cameras, the press. It involves hundreds and hundreds of people. Luckily enough, uh, with hard work, this we managed to get there and uh, everyone worked well together, everyone was happy. Uh, we had small issues, obviously, with uh, queuing and uh, this thing, but I think queuing is not an issue. Queuing is something that uh, means there was a lot more people than expected. How did you want to make it different to previous years? Well, the venue itself is, is completely different than the previous years of Battle of Malta. I think the idea of having it in one room instead of split up was very nice. Um, we wanted to introduce the new markets. Um, like with Olympic Casino, we had we, we had a lot more Estonians, Slovakians, you know, Lithuanians, Latvians. So it was a different market completely. Um, and we have a lot of different sponsors that probably never came to Malta. So we had the new Spanish market as well. You know, everyone's used to the Israeli Italians in Malta. So we have the different markets. So I think you can see how many nationalities that actually came to this event. So, How did you get to work with all of the sponsors here and what's your relationship with them like? We knew some of them from before <coughs> and um, we knew a lot through this year, through the year yes, as well. Yes. yes, we traveled a lot, me and Diane. We, we went uh, to see other events, to speak about Battle of Malta, to make Battle of Malta bigger, to make Battle of Malta not only grow in numbers, but grow uh, as a brand. Yes, we already planned some trips, so um, trying to get new markets for next year. Um, but uh, like the main. Like at micro gaming, we've done MPN PT before, now casino, so we already have a very good relationship. And 888 actually did their VIP event last year with us, and Malta was considered their most favorite venue in all the VIP events 888 has ever done. So, you know, um, 888 likes Malta, and they were partners with the Battle of Malta a couple of years ago, but they stopped, and I was happy to, to convince them to be part of it again. And they already told me that they're in again for next year for sure, so. What has the feedback of the players been like? They really love the venue. Uh, you know, you, you might see on, the, on you know, Facebook and a few complaints, but nothing compared to the praise. So, you know, it's, it's just amazing how much they loved the, the venue. And this casino is right in the heart of all the clubbing areas. So I think everyone benefited, you know, for hotels and bars and restaurants in the area. Um, I think it's very good for Malta. Having had such great numbers this year, is there anything that you'll do differently next year to change it? There are going to be changes, of course. There's going to be improvements. Um, there's going to be more tables. There's going to be bigger numbers. And uh, we're aiming 
to have bigger numbers but better service. Um, doesn't mean that we did not have a better service, but we already have notes. We're jotting note, notes during the event. What could have gone better? What could we have done to make the players more comfortable during their stay, not only around the poker, but even outside the poker? What could we have done? And we have big plans coming. It's going to be big, so get ready for Battle of Moto 2019.